Well hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. As you see in this one, we'll be going over some roads for your city. Now there will be a lot of little things in this video to help improve your roads. I hope that you all enjoy this video and this helps you out. If so, please drop a like down below. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's get this started. Well hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. As you see, we will be going over some road designs, shapes, sizes, materials, all the details in between, the do's, the don'ts, and everything else as well. Now, starting off, I need to say, please do not do this. I see these two right here all of the time in so many worlds that I have joined. Please do not do this. Most of the time, in Minecraft, vehicles are three blocks wide, and the bigger vehicles like buses and 18-wheelers, things like that, are maybe, you know, four to five blocks wide. And having your roads three blocks wide, I just don't see that realistic at all. So please, guys, do not do this. If you are, please try a little bit better. And take in what you can from this video if you do like this video and it does help, please drop a like down below. Also, I see this all the time. The road being only two blocks wide. And again, I just really don't see how that is even possible for the ones that are trying to actually make their worlds realistic. Now, I have so many different designs going on through here, way off in the distance. Now, as you see here, we have a highway we'll get to that last I have a bunch of detail in that uh, I have it elevated in different spots it's not flat so I'll get to that later on we'll get to that last so let's go ahead and come over here to this one first so as you see we have this going one two three four five blocks which is better than these over here we have the white lines in the middle separated better which these over here again please do not do these but we do have a problem with this one you see either the sidewalk here or the curb whatever you want to call it whatever you trying to do do not make it flat you see it's flat with the road is level and then level with the grass that there just is flat and boring so to do a little bit better than that you see this is the same size road as that one the only thing I've done different is on the left side here I just use the anisite slabs or you can use any slab that you want this here can act as a curb or sidewalk you see it comes off of the road here and that just breaks it up a little bit gives it a little bit more texture and detail this over here on this side as you see I have a curb breaking this up from the road a grass patch here and then here can be your sidewalk so you see that right there is already an improvement you can have this on one side this on this side or you can have this on both sides either or whatever you guys are trying to do for your area now again all roads are different so they can adapt to wherever that you're needing them to adapt to suburban areas big busy city areas intersections and things like that and again we'll get to that later on so this here is the same size road as those other two there again this is being five blocks wide here the white lines three blocks apart as you see here so again, the same size road, but what I've done different on this one is I added gutters or drainage systems. Now you could take the stairs and turn them this away. And that act is again for the drainage system on both sides of the road. Also, I textured this with the slab and then having stone slab here. 
So again, use your textures and everything else. Make it not flat, something to look at. And on this side, as you see, I have a drainage system. And all I've done here is where I have these stairs like this, I just wrap them around this way on this one and this one as well instead of like this wrapped it like this here and then I grabbed a different type of stair to kind of break it up as well so I use stone brick stairs the slabs above that looking down in here we have a cauldron stone bricks as you see here and then as you see we have this here so let's go ahead and take that on across we got these stairs again turned like this on both sides and then simply just take the stairs like this here that way the water looks more realistic as it goes down in there to make a nice little drainage system sewer so again that just adds a little bit more detail to your roads now depending on the things around your roads that also adds to your roads having lights stop signs vehicles parking spaces and everything else around your roads again will help your roads out as well but this video is just mainly pinpointing on the roads itself all right now as you see we are getting into some bigger roads intersections over here we have a nice little curved s shaped road here and then we have a big roundabout right over there and we'll get to that in just a second first let's take a look at this here this can be a residential uh, small intersection road here now I'm going to show you my techniques on how I do this so go ahead and choose whatever block that you're going to use I got granite here in this texture pack so I got one two three four five like always like I've been doing there so five wide and then I just take a white block and I just place it there for the middle just for self-reference and then later on I can change that but just do that there and then again five this way now once you've got that then you could just come out this way however far that you need to go and then for the curve here as you see all we're going to be doing is we're going to go one two three four five going to go in three blocks and again two blocks and then two single diagonal and then you're going to repeat the same on the other side so two three and then five looking down at it like this it's really easy can't really mess that up so whenever you have this here this curve and then you have this coming off of here and this is going straight when you get to this side you're going to do the same thing right over there so you're going to make the five here mark your middle do another five and then come on up now whenever you go to do this this is how I do it so whenever I let's say I'm just not building this so I come here and I eyeball it all I gotta do is line this block up with this one Did you see if this comes straight on crossed right here it's lined straight up so that's all I do is I I line that up and then I look at this side and I say okay I got five here I got three two one one so all I do there is I just simply do the same thing so I go five three two one one and I just copy it it's that easy and then I just come around this way straighten this out as long as I need it do the same five middle marker at five and then again self-explanatory from now on you guys can see for yourself but well, that's just my technique on how I do a nice intersection all right so now let's go ahead and come right over here to this s shaped road now a lot of people have problems doing roads I used to 
but I've gotten a lot better over the time. So you see here, we have this road here. I used bedrock on this one, which is really nice in this texture pack. So let's say this right here comes straight on out. Let's go ahead and do the outer side here. So as you see, I have one, two, three, four, five, three, three, and then two sets of two. And then I got two singles. And then after the singles, you just gonna copy and do the same thing as what you just did. So you got these two here. These two is the same as these two. All right, so you got two sets of two, you got three, three, again, the same right over here. So three, three, and then five, and this is a five as well. So again, after these singles, you're just gonna copy and mirror it on the other side. And then from there, you're just gonna have your road straight if you need it, but to have another curve, if you need a curve like this, then you're just simply going to go ahead and do the same exact curve here is what we're going to have over here. It's the same curve. So now we have the outer curve here outline. Now if you guys are using this, please use blocks that's easy to count and see like I have. I have two different blocks here. So right here off these two singles, I have these white blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks diagonal as you see there. So right off that last ninth block right here, you're gonna place two blocks on both sides like this. And then from there as you see we have two, three, two and three. And then simply have your roads going straight on out on both sides and then whenever you go to do like another curve you're just going to do the same thing here as what you just done right over there you're just going to do the outer side on this side as we've done right over there and how I do this because it can get a little bit confusing what I do here after I have the first curve like this all right then I have this road going straight on out as far as I need it to go. All I got to do now is do these three here, which is these three. So these three here is the same thing as this. So you're just simply going to go ahead and line everything up. Do your middle diagonal marker line in the middle here. And then from there it's very, very simple to do. Alright, now for the ones that are needing something like this here, a roundabout or a nice intersection, go ahead and use this for inspiration, if anything else. Now as you see, we have right here with the gray concrete, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks, gray concrete powder on the outside, for some texture and as you see as well on the inside ring. Now as you see we have some yellow in here. Now if you guys are using yellow on your roads use something that's not very bright. I use the sandstone. You don't want to use something that's you know too eye popping like yellow concrete it's just too bright. You want something that looks a little bit dingy and dirty that's how roads are. Roads aren't very clean in real life. Nice textures in your roads will also add detail. Now let's go ahead and go over the outside curve here. As you see, imagine these coming off nice long straightaways. I just have it like this. You guys use your imagination. So we're going to do this outside curve here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to have three, 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 
And then you're going to have two, two, one, two, one, one, one. Well, we're going to have quite a bit of ones here, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those ones. And then everything else after the diagonal, you're going to copy the same thing on the left side as the right side. So, two, one, two, two. And then three sets of three. And then four. So if I was to come up here, you guys can pause the video if needed right there. All right, so let's go ahead and do this inner curve here. That way you all can have a nice little template. So as you see right here, we have the diagonal blocks. Find your middle point, mark it. You should have three on this side, three on this side. And we're going to come across here and then get this dimension here. So coming across diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is going to be my texture. And as you see with the slabs, I have two on this side, two on this side, and then I have two. 2, 2, 2, so let's see, 1, got 4 twos, and then we have a 3, and then a 5, so the same thing on this side over here, so you're going to have 4 twos, a 3, and a 5, and then everything else from there, you're just going to copy, so we have 3 on this side, you're going to do 3 on this side of this 5, and you're going to do this all the way around, it's going to be a nice shaped circle going around with that dimension. All right, now for the crosswalk or walkway, as you see here, I used, again, something that's not really bright. I used the powder, white concrete powder. White concrete would work, but I wanted to go with a dirty kind of texture. As you see, we have seven of these, so one, two, three, four five six and seven one block in between with the gray concrete and then right here in the middle we have seven right here with stone and then a nice median going across like this so right off of here we have two three two 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 and then a t-shaped and three and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So looking down at it like this, you guys can pretty much see for yourself. Pretty self-explanatory. I hope that you all are enjoying this so far. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at this highway. I was thinking about doing a tutorial later on on a big intersection or overpass exits and everything like that for a highway let me know in the comments if you would like that now as you see this highway here is not flat we have the materials I used is black terracotta kinda looks a little bit brown but I think it looks alright I wanted to go with something that had a close as possible slab to go with it that way we have a nice uh, incline we also have the slab here with the white and then for this texture pack the granite and the granite slab they match perfectly so that's what I used for that now these white lines I got five blocks in between and every other gap I have a birch button for the reflectors as you see right here I use the basalt on its side like this these act as the bumpers so if you're driving along and you're falling asleep boom 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 
You wake up and you swerve back on the road. So that's what that's supposed to be. So you see we have one, two, three, four, five blocks on this side. And we only have three blocks on this side. And that's how it is in real life. You know, if you got car trouble, you usually will see vehicles on this side of the road here. A lot more room on that side. Right here in the middle, I have this grass patch textured with the iron bars. And you see, the roads here aren't perfectly in line. The lines in the middle of the roads are, but I'm talking about the incline. You see how I have this terraformed? That's not lined up. So if we fly down through this way, you see how I have this going on down like that. It just breaks it up, makes it to where it's not perfect looking. Because roads might be flat, like you see here. Nice, long, flat, straight away. Well, and then you get to something like this. And then the further we go down, you'll see what I've done. Now, what I've done down here, I see this all the time in real life. A nice little spot where you can have a U-turn. A lot of times you'll see cops or state troopers sitting right there. Now right down here, we have another incline. But the further we get down here, you'll see that the road is not going to be flat with each other. Now I see this all the time. Just by every day I drive in real life, I see this. Or this road here is up a little bit higher than this side. So guys, whenever you do your roads, keep that in mind. Your roads do not have to be perfectly flat with one another. They do not have to be flat at all. You can have inclines. Use different textures. You see this comes up. This goes down with the road. And then they end up leveling, leveling off, flattening out right here. Well, Alright, now this is a nice little example for a intersection. Now, like I said earlier, street lights, turning lanes, vehicles, and everything else surrounding your roads, like power line poles and trees, things like that actually help your roads. But, like I said, this video is just mainly pinpointing on the roads itself. But as you see, we have the turning lanes here. If you guys do this, make sure that there's plenty enough room for your vehicles to have enough room to pull in here and turn whichever way they need to go. And also have medians like this in your road. That way, you know, it's realistic. That way vehicles can actually enter parking lots when they need to. Alright, now as you see right here, we have two different textures. They kind of clash against each other, but you see that in real life as well. So you see we have an incline there, and it goes back down here. Now, never mind the area. Uh, it's still under construction. I just want to show you right over here on this back road. There's not even any white lines in this, and it's meant to be a back road. So, again, you don't even have to have white lines in your road. Just having different types of roads in your city actually makes it look good as well. And don't forget to texture some areas like this. Well, Alright, now as you see, not all roads are straight and perfect. This one here is a diagonal road. So something like this also helps out to break up everything as well. Now as you see, right here is another example of an incline road. So this right here really breaks it up for your cities. And as always, I hope that this video did help you out and you enjoyed it as well. If so, please drop a like down below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time.